welcome hi how yeah i said that already hey you guys it's peace here welcome back to my channel i hate intros As you can tell by the title, I did some damage recently. Before recently, like entire couple two-ish months, I needed to replenish a lot of my K Beauty. As you guys could see by my K Beauty empties video, I got through a lot of items. I also wanted to test out new product, and there's a lot of new things that are going around that I really want to try out and make cool videos. So I, I, I did some. I. <laughs> some damage and now it, it looks like a lot it looks like a lot and you're absolutely right it's a lot I'm not gonna have the total of what I spent because I don't know I don't think I want to know but I know that I replenished my skincare routine and and then some so we're just gonna go through everything shopped at yes style wish trend style Korean I believe that's it first we'll start with my skincare routine I purchased these Yusha cotton pads, these square cotton pads from Yes Style. It's a pack of a thousand pieces of these thin cotton pads. These are the I prefer these in general because I feel like they last longer. One, oddly enough, I get more uses out of them. Not saying I use the same dirty one over and over, but I they're multi-use. So what I like to do um, with my toner, that's more of a watery toner. You know the seven skin method, but like three skin because that's a lot. I would do the three skin or the two skin or whatever. However, I'm feeling that day. I just need a little extra bit of that medication that's in the toner I would just use these soak it up and put the toner and then use it as a mask for the designated areas I've seen this uh, particular method used by many many people whoever thought of that like thank you because it's like having a mask without putting the entire sheet mask and then having a whole bunch of gooey serum that your ashy elbows need but then it's just like when you're done moisturizing your ashy elbows you still have serum left over so it's just like I don't know. I like to do that with my mask. And I kind of need to do a lot because I've been breaking out. But not because I'm... Well, it's because I haven't... It's... Wow, I'm not going to expose myself. This definitely helps with my skincare routine because I don't have to use these all the time. But I know when I do need them, oh, they're going to be there. I'm not going to have to, like, use them sparingly. And next item that's part of my skincare routine, I'm just going to pull all of them out at one time and tell you guys which pack it comes in. You guys are already seeing what I'm talking about. It's Claire's. I always say Claire's, but it's Claire's. I think the other part of this set were the masks. But I got my Claire set from Wish Trend. I was getting it around the time Kenny JD had her whole collab with Wish Trend for like the third time. And like she brought it back and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna re-up on my Claire's because I ran out anyway. Then I realized, ooh, like everything in this one particular, you know, this young set or the young set, like I didn't need I like at least one product, like the Vitamin E mask, because I'm not really a fan of it. The other one had, I believe it had the it had something that I just didn't like. It had like, I have the regular supple preparation toner and I know that I need, there it is, that's the last thing. I need the unscented toner because of my, I have sensitive skin. So I was just looking through Clarice's website and looking like if they had like a pack, you know, like a pack of items that was discounted because you, like, you bought them in a bundle. And I kept saying angry skin, angry skin. I'm like, dang, I wish they had the angry skin with the unscented toner. And then I kept scrolling. I was so so happy not like I'm biased or whatever but like no this really saved my skin during the winter and I'm thinking like do I have to have another skincare routine for the winter and the summer I might but it's gonna be it's gonna be changing weather pretty soon anyway so my skin will get back to like being very very smooth and very very supple in this set I got my rich moist soothing cream my unscented supple preparation toner my favorite one of my favorite products is the rich moist soothing serum this is a moisturizer for the summer um, I still use it as a serum but like it can double as a moisturizer yes it is good to use a moisturizer but I just feel like it just it's a lot for my skin um, especially on really really humid days but on days where I'm just like okay like girl you know you need the moisture I put a little bit of this rich moist soothing cream just because I just don't want to overwhelm my skin it is better to moisturize your skin because then your skin tends to get oily and overcompensate for the lack of moisture 
just no pro tip that you could just use double this the moisturizer because it's moisturizing for my face i have my favorite freshly juiced vitamin drop and if you guys saw by my k beauty empties i still had a lot of this left that's why i'm so i have to be very very careful and i've been using it for like i said i've been using all these products quite a while you can see from my supple preparation toner how much is gone versus my freshly juiced vitamin drop like how much is gone it's a very very stark difference um, it looks like I've been using this more, but I've been pretty much using them the same. This lasts for a very, 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 very long time. Like I said, in my KBD Empties video, you guys saw that I had a lot left, but it had turned yellow. You should not use a vitamin C when it's not clear anymore. No vitamin C should not be clear. And you would think like, oh, it's supposed to be yellow. It's not supposed to be yellow. It can just do a lot of things, damaging things to your skin, and it also won't work. So just like... Why would you put something that's supposed, that's going to worsen your skin than help it? So, yeah, purchase a new one. I just have to make sure to not have it near the sun. Like, my skincare is all near the window in my room, in my current setup, but I'm moving anyway. But I just have to be sure to, like, hide it behind my other skincare. I was happy that it came in a jar. It looks very, very, very bougie as glass. Um, it isn't that much product, but I do use it sparingly. The other one I just, like, use as a moisturizer, slathered it all on my face. Because I was like, oh, this is a better moisturizer than the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. Because that one was really, really thick but you have to use this sparingly um because it's so small and even though it feels like uh, with a lot of products it feels like oh it's not gonna it's not doing anything it doesn't work because they don't have like a, a single or phase in the beginning like this it is doing a lot it does help with inflammation and calming redness that was pretty much everything from wish trend i think style korean had Y'all already know South Korean be having the sales. They already, you already know they be having the sales. They be having the good sales. So I picked up some Innisfree because y'all know Innisfree, she got the goods. She has the goods. She has the goods. I wanted to initially pick up the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Max Times 2, like the new version, Pore Max, and it's really, really good. I'm actually like, I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was like, it was like that since they had it on sale i also picked up the peel off max version thing that made me so upset after i bought this like literally two days after i bought this i was telling my friend about it she also has a k-beauty channel her name is especially cc i'll link her down below and she was talking to me about like uh the foundation that i mentioned in uh, my Korean foundations that run deeper than shade 23 um and she was talking about how the Innisfree foundation like the looking foundation is gone from the site and I was confused because I was like, what you mean? So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're revamping the formula. Something was wrong. They had to do a recall, but it's gone. For some reason, the cushions are still there. But I was like, but the liquid foundation formula was better, but okay. But anyway, I use both of these. Um, I actually, I especially like the, the peel off mask because I just, it's less mess. I got the some by me a true sick up mineral 100 calming sun cream and i remember watching one of asia jackson's videos and she was talking about how some asian beauty brand companies can't legally call sunscreen sunscreen because this whole thing with fda and like is it fda that's food Ugh. whole thing with like how much of a product you're supposed to legally have and, and product in the United States and Asia and blah 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 blah. So if you see something is called like a sun essence or a sun cream or blah, blah blah blah, it's a sunscreen and that's the same thing with I believe Crave Beauty's uh, Beat the Heat. Um, it's called something else in Asia. Um, it's called the Beat the Sun or is it Beat the Heat? Beat the Sun? One of those but regardless it's a sunscreen and I'm getting that for a special video. Three sunscreens, which I got for a special video. You guys can like guess which video. But I got the Claris Soft UV Essence. See, there you go. Which is SPF 50. All of these sunscreens are SPF 50. And then I got a new brand that I haven't heard of before because I definitely want to try this on, try this out for a long time. Then I saw this by Purito is the Centella Green Level Safe Sun. See again, it's not called sunscreen. It's just has the word sun in it. So, so you know, SPF 50, um, brightening, anti-wrinkle, UV shield, calming and moisturizing, no sticky, no white cast. Like I just love, uh, this is literally the shoes I've been using this. I finally purchased the Eliza Velka, Eliza Velka, Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Hell Pour Cleanup Mask, the peel off mask that like 2016, everybody was like, making videos of them in pain i even saw people like doing the mask while doing the spicy fire new challenge like it was like a whole bunch of trends i haven't tried this yet because i was i'm debating on like should i make a video like is it too late for that 
I feel like it is. Um, I was thinking like, oh, like this could like help out with my nose pores because you know, she get clogged on a regular girl. I'm Nigerian, you guys. I am very, very hairy. I have a lot of hair. <laughs> okay, so that means I have a lot of hair on my face. So I recently bleached my hair and I even realized that I had gotten some of like my face hair bleached and I didn't even realize I had that much hair on my forehead. So I really wanted to see, like I know, although it doesn't, it doesn't really recommend to put this all over your face. Some people did, which it wasn't recommended, so I don't know why they did that. But I really, I just want to try this area and then my mustache. And also if it works, like, could I do my eyebrows? Like, I was like, okay, that could be a video. It's not like, oh, it's painful, no support from hell. It's just like, can this be a facial though? So that's what I'm saving this for. I hope it hurts. People on YouTube be weak and it just ruins my expectations for things. Another product that I got from Style Korean, and I've been wanting to get this for so long, the Innisfree Jeju Orchid Eye Cream. I've heard so many things about this. I have natural eye bags, um, but they get a lot when I don't get sleep. So I was like, okay, is, if there's some way for me to, you know, lessen that, I want to try. And then also the skin around your eye is very, very delicate. So I just wanted to see like, you know, it's, it's, it's never too early to start taking care of your skin. You know, I want to be looking, you know, 30, 34 when I'm 42. Okay, you know, we, we trying to do them type deals. I already have oily skin. So I already know what's going to be happening because my mom looked really young and she's not at all. But I just want to add some extra precautions, okay? Like, I, that's what we try to do. That's what we're trying to do. Another thing that I got from South Korea because, uh, honestly, they do have the best deals when it comes to Sun By Me. I purchased two of the AHA, BHA, and PHA 30 Day Miracle Toner. This is my favorite product for that line. This is the only product that really works. It's a staple. It is a staple. It's a holy grail. Um, I have two of them. I'm on my first one. And she's doing what she got to do. I really love this toner. That's why I purchased two from Yes Style. I went ahead and picked up the Causer X Centella Blemish Cream. Um, this is this is expensive. It was a lot of money. Okay. The only reason that I really really wanted to get this is because I remember what is her name from Beauty Within. It's not Rowena. The one that's not Rowena. I can't. Why can't I remember her name? I love her. My oily skin queen. She was talking about this in one of their videos where they're reviewing new products and lines of products. She talked about how she put this on her face one night and she woke up and all the bumps were gone and blah blah blah. blah. That didn't happen for me, but I noticed a big difference in my texture. I just feel like I have to use this, you know, not necessarily religiously, but in a way that is effective. I have to use it a couple times a week and you know, do what it do. It was expensive, it was like $21. But it's, but it's very, when I say very, it's, you probably not gonna be, it's thick. It's, it's thick and it's heavily medicated. I went ahead and picked up the Costa Rex Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. I actually got this a couple months ago, um, but I wanna put it in this haul because um, I got it from your style and I just wanted to try this. I kind of like my Clavu cleanser way better than this. This is definitely a gentle morning gel cleanser. Um, I just need something a little bit more heavy duty in the summertime because my pores get really clogged. Clavu's cleanser is just more stripping. I kind of like that in the summer because every everywhere is just gooey and moist and just a lot of a lot of moisture. A lot of things are going on. Just a lot of wet. So I'm just like, can like at least one part of my face be dry, thank you. And this is like, it's okay, it's cute. It's cute. I use this on a day, this is cute. <laughs> I use it, but it's cute, it's not, it's not a lot. I finally picked up the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, this is amazing, I have it on my lips right now. Not the color, but I have it under my lips and I didn't realize that it was, it's glossy. Like it's, I can't wait. For, to use this in the winter because I know it works especially well in the winter time. I wanted to do a whole video on like the best products for your lips because my lips get so arid. Not just dry and cracked, they get so arid, so lifeless. Like I look sick when my lips, they just be crackalack in the winter time, in the fall, and it's not fair. So I was just like, I made the investment, honey. Not necessarily the investment, I made the, uh, the impulse purchase, but it's okay, it's okay. Watch my videos and then I'ma I'm get to AdSense one day and I'm gonna be making the money back. It's cool. I got a brand new uh, makeup remover, the Hamish All Clean Cleansing Balm. It, and 
smells heavenly. It's a cleansing balm that is super, super thick. As you guys can see, I haven't really made a dirt in it. I haven't been wearing makeup as often. I'm definitely going to use her tonight. Should have used her yesterday, but I was being lazy. So, we ain't going to talk about it. Like I said, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, ma'am. Don't try to clock me. You know you do it, too. I love... I love this. I like it a lot. I still want to try, just like other versions. I still want to try the Clean It Zero. I still want to try the Clinique. No one's ever going to top my Clavu oil cleanser. Like, that's that bitch, but she expensive. Picked up the Causer X Clear Fit Master Patch because the original pimple patches were okay i like these way better i still want to try the mighty patch you guys i'm never satisfied i'm like oh there's always something out there like could be better that could be better for me it's good diable capitalism don't gotta love her i like the clear fit master patch it's all one size and i appreciate that so it just prompts me to use them not necessarily sparingly but use them wisely i only really use them when i have like really like pimps that you know hey she ain't gonna put her on she'll be gone in like two days I have a, a lot left and I've been using this using this quite a while quite for a bit so I appreciate this version way better because the big ones and the other one were too big and the small ones were too small and it just didn't cover anything even if I had like tiny little pimples like the ones the little dots out of my forehead if I use the small ones in the original it just didn't do anything this it sucks out all the nastiness then my silly 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 self decided to get the holica holica devil's plumper at the time when I purchased this, they only had the the matte one, which is 60% pain, <laughs> as uh, as it says on the back, 60% fire level. I want the gloss because once one, the gloss is really really pretty, um, and two, like, but you know what I mean. I went ahead and picked up a yellow blush from Samuel. Um, I just wanted to try their brand in general, and I've been seeing this trend going around with yellow blush. You guys, if you guys watch my channel for a while, you guys already, already know how I feel about yellow blush and just orange blushes. They're very, very flattering in general, but then they're very, very flattering on uh, melanin. I'm going to do like a whole video on this. Like, I need to stop telling you guys my video ideas because then some of y'all going to be like, okay, you said you was going to do this and it's not here yet. And I'm going to be like, sis, I'm going to need you to wait. I'm going to need you to back off. You are making me sweat, ma'am. But I got this color, and it's surprisingly not that pigmented, or maybe it was just me. Let me see. Let's wash this. Oh, what am I talking about? But it is very, very smooth. It's like butter. But I still need to see if it's going to be ashy or not. So I haven't really just tried it on, like, as a blush in general. Today I'm using this other blush from a company that shall not be named. I definitely wanted to pick up the BT21 yellow blush that they had, because it's way... When I say way, it's way more pigmented than the last little watery uh, Gatorade blushes that they had before. The last thing I bought, I got the last shade of uh, the 3CE Velvet Lip Tints that I did not have and I got it in new nude. When I say the last color that I needed, you guys will see why. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's hot as hell and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Subscribe bay. Leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and what you liked about this video. And if you like this type of content, share this with your friends, share this with your family, share, tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your Aunt Lou, tell your Auntie, your Auntie Gladys, okay? Tell your Uncle uh, Rosalinda, I don't know, I don't know, your first period teacher, uh, tell you the professor that you hate, so he, so you, I don't know. Share this video, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. <laughs>